7th century Africa. From the 7th century onward, an Arab-run slave trade flourished, with its activity taking place in East Africa, Arabia, and the Indian Ocean. This was known as the Trans-Saharan Slave Trade. The Trans-Saharan Slave Trade was well established long before the arrival of Europeans and their transatlantic slave trade. It was enforced by the Sultanates of the Middle East. The Arab traders brought the Africans from Kenya, Tanzania, Sudan, Western Ethiopia, and parts of the Middle East. The slaves in North Africa were mainly servants rather than workers. There were an equal or greater number of females than males, who were often employed as chambermaids to women of harems. The slaves that were purchased from black slave dealers in Western Africa, such as the Slave Coast, Gold Coast, and Côte d'Ivoire, were sold into slavery as a result of tribal warfare. Black kings sold their captives within their kingdoms and then to European slave traders in return for metal cookware, rum, cattle, and seeds. The economies grew dependent on the slave trading, and the other states began competing over trades, which led to wars and the capture of more slaves. It has been roughly determined that only a couple of thousand slaves were taken yearly from the Red Sea and Indian Ocean coast. The Arabs supplied the African slaves to the Muslim world, which soon spread to the Atlantic, including Morocco and Spain, into India and eastern China. During the late 15th century, Europeans began to explore beyond their borders, discovering new territory in the Americas, and start the process of colonization. After discovering the slave trading in Africa, the Portuguese bought many slaves of their own for cheap labor. They brought them back to Portugal, and the popularity of having slaves soon spread throughout Portugal, and even into Spain. In attempts to win the race to the Indies against many other European countries, Spain looked westward and sent the famous Christopher Columbus out to search for them. After about six long weeks at sea, they finally reached the land thought to be the Indies. However, they had actually reached what is now known as the Bahamas. Indians began with the Spanish in the earlier days of the Caribbean islands where they first were settled. One of the main purposes for slaves were the gold mines of Hispaniola, which led to the extermination of Native Americans on many of the islands. The European colonists tried to enslave the natives to perform difficult physical labor, but their endurance did not hold up. Another strike against the Indians was toward their lack of experience to diseases. Their suitability for slavery slowly declined. The colonial powers traded guns, brandy, and other goods for the natives. Economic way of life developed a lot because of slavery, back in a time when many types of machines that we have today doesn't exist. People would have to do work by hand. 
It's human nature to search for an easier way of doing things. Getting slaves to do work was considered very smart because all you have to do is spend some money on purchasing a slave, force them to work for you, and then you have a free source of labor which produces income for you. Because of slaves, people did not have to work the fields themselves, which would take a long time, nor did they have to hire workers to work the fields for them which would cost a lot of money. Therefore, slavery was very economically efficient for them because it saved time and money! Fantastic point of view No one to tell us no Or where to go Or say we're only dreaming A whole new world